you guys what is up welcome back to my channel welcome to a little morning in my life morning routine i i don't know last night i just went to bed and i was like oh, i'm gonna film a morning routine tomorrow so i here we are um there has been something about moving for me that well and i know what it is but i love mornings now i'm not a morning person at all but I love mornings in this house. Like I just feel so at peace here and so calm. And I think it's all the sunlight, honestly. We get so much sunlight in this house. Sometimes it's almost too much. And obviously when we lived in the city and our condo it was pretty dark. And so I think it just makes the world of a difference, especially in the winter. We also live on like a dead end street. There's only like three houses on our street and it snowed last night. And I just have been sitting here just watching like this, like the snow, this, the rest of the snow fall down and the sun's coming in and it's just, it's, I don't have words, honestly, it's truly one of the most peaceful things ever. And anyways, I am not a morning person. I am like 150% a night owl. I love staying up late to read. I'm just such like a night person, but I've found that like my sweet spot is getting up around seven. That's usually when the dogs wake me up anyways. It's when Matt leaves for work. So welcome to my morning. It's nothing like crazy over the top. You guys know I'm a very laid back person when it comes to my mornings. And yeah, but what have we done so far? So I got up, uh, the dogs are upstairs uh, back asleep. That's kind of like their routine. So I let them out and I fed them. They were so excited for the snow. And then I told them they have to like rest up because we're gonna be playing outside and shoveling a lot later. And so they typically go upstairs to our bed to like sleep the whole morning away. It's really, really sweet. They like to snuggle and stuff. So they're up there. And I did like what I call the opening shift, which is my favorite part of my morning routine. There's like something about coming downstairs and I know what it is, you guys. I really just love the weirdest, littlest moments. I love just coming downstairs and Matt usually has all the lamps on for me and sometimes we'll have some candles lit and I just like open all the curtains. I take a few minutes and it's so quiet and it's just the best way to start the day. I, that sounds so cheesy, but it's so true. So anyways, I do that and then like I immediately need coffee. Okay, I cannot eat. I need coffee. I have coffee in an empty stomach. It, it is what it is, okay? But I have a glass of water at least. But I just, I need, I need coffee. So speaking of coffee, let's take a sip of this. If you guys have kept up with morning routines or videos in the past, you guys would know I'm a very go with the flow person in the morning. So I have a morning routine, but I don't really have a morning routine. I just kind of honestly ask myself when I wake up, like, what do I need today? Or like, what do I want to do today? I think that starting my mornings off with something like I want to do truly helps me so much. I'm someone who definitely prefers to ease into the day. I, I don't like going to the gym first thing in the morning. And for the longest time, it felt wrong. Like it felt wrong that I went to the gym after work. It, I saw everyone else online going to the gym at 5 a.m. And I thought like, that's the only way I could do it. But I'm just here to tell you like, I get, you know, my 10,000 steps in a day. I go to the gym, I work out, I live a balanced life and I don't get up to go to the gym first thing in the morning and that's okay. I feel like we need to see more people doing that. Yeah, so my morning routine honestly like changes day to day. Some days I, you know, I wake up and I really wanna watch Harry Potter for a little bit and I do. And then I maybe work from the couch for a little bit and keep watching Harry Potter or, I don't know, I color or, you know, I, I read. It really just depends on what I want to do that day. Some days I wake up and I really want to go for a long walk, so I go, but I just kind of allow myself to do whatever I want that day. And it works for me. It may not work for you. Obviously, we don't have kids and maybe, you know, for example, my brother and sister-in-law, they wake up at four o'clock every morning to work out because they have two kids and they know by the time they get home, they're just not going to do it because, you know, they have bedtime and stuff. And I think it really depends where you are in your life and you know who depends on you in life but i'm trying to decide what i want to do i don't know if anyone else can relate but sometimes i get overwhelmed like my cozy hobby choices like i'll sit here and i'll like spend 10 minutes trying to decide if i want to read or watch tv or like what i want to do or play games and then the time is passing and obviously like i mean it's 7 39 and i'm gonna start work at nine so i gotta like figure it out but <sighs> yeah something about just like a quiet house it's snowing outside it's very very cozy today i think i'm gonna read for a little bit i also like to watch youtube when i'm working so i don't really typically watch youtube first thing in the morning but lately i've been loving uh watching harry potter 
I don't know why I'm just like rewatching Harry Potter and coloring that's been really fun but I think I'm gonna read this morning that sounds good I just gotta figure out what I'm reading because I'm filming a finishing series I'm in the middle of right now so I'm reading a lot of books for that but also my hold just came in on Stacey Williams' newest thriller, so maybe I'll start that. Here's the current selection of books I want to read or am reading, because you guys know I'm a mood reader, and this doesn't even include my Kindle. So first is the second book in the Mead Mishap series, which is the time I got drunk and yeeted a love potion out of Werewolf. We've got Clockwork Prince, obviously. I'm like halfway through Half a Soul, and I'm liking it, but I'm not loving it. I'm like struggling to get into it but I do want to finish this. So I have that. And then this is Stacey Williams' newest release, Only If You're Lucky. I absolutely love to flicker the dark and all the dangerous things. So I'm hoping I really, really enjoy this. So I kind of want to start this today, honestly. But then my hold also came in for the Tea Dragon Society, which I had put a hold on this for my cozy fantasy book. And it just took a little bit longer to get here. I feel like this would just be such a fun book to read in the morning because it's a graphic novel, you know, if you're not like fully awake yet hmm i don't know but i might save this for the weekend honestly i think i'm gonna start stacy williams newest book got a bookmark I did about four chapters and I really like Stacey Williams writing. It's like really fast paced, really easy to read. You know, some thrillers start and you're like, whoa, I need a lot of brain power for this. Like, no, her writing is amazing. And compared to like Freedom McFadden, how it's just like very fast paced, like very Sherry Lapina, Mary Kubica kind of style of writing. The one thing I do struggle with is when a book starts off with past present timelines and you're just like trying to figure out what's going on and it kind of takes you a few chapters. That's how I'm feeling right now. But this just says a sharp and twisty exploration of female friendship a thriller about the nature of friendship and belonging about loyalty envy and betrayal this follows our main character margot and she goes to a liberal arts college in south carolina and she's basically invited to room with this girl named lucy who's kind of like scary there's like rumors that you know she like blinded her boyfriend in high school like everyone's kind of a little scared of her but she's also giving off like powerful popular vibes she basically says like hey do you want to live together next year and so anyways then they end up living off campus with margo ends up living off campus with three other girls including lucy margo and lucy have become the closest of friends but by the middle of their sophomore year one of the frat boys from the house next door is brutally murdered and lucy is missing without a trace so we're kind of flip-flopping between past when lucy asks margo to move in kind of like in their freshman year and then present when lucy's gone missing um in their sophomore year so i'm really excited to see where this kind of goes honestly i feel like i'm in a thriller I feel like I jump in and out of the thriller era. Basically read every thriller under the sun that's come out in the last five years. I really only read thrillers now when something new comes out. And so it just depends on like release timing. If I read, you know, a lot of thrillers back to back or none. Like for, for example, in January, I read one thriller. And then this month so far, I've read three. I've read Freda McFadden's newest release, which, uh, Samantha M. Bailey's newest release, A Friend in the Dark. And so, yeah, I kind of go through phases where there's a lot of thrillers and phases where there's not. I think I'm going to get up, make a little bit of breakfast, and then get ready for the day. I don't get ready every day, but some days, like today, where we're kind of like nearing the end of the week, I want to sit on the couch and work all day, which there's nothing wrong with. I do that at least like once a week. Honestly, I am my most productive, and I get the most done when I'm sitting on the couch and working. I don't know what it is, but sometimes I just need a little quick, you know, five-minute makeup. I'm gonna start a new vlog this afternoon after work, I think. So sometimes I just like to be like a little bit ready for the day. I don't have any meetings today, but I do anticipate maybe having a spontaneous one just because we have some stuff going on at work. I like to be just like a little bit ready for the day, get dressed, and I'll have probably a piece of toast. I'm not super hungry first thing in the morning, but I do love to have two coffees. And so I like to have something in my tummy. And now that we make homemade bread, I'm so excited to have toast every morning, honestly. So I think I'm gonna have some toast, probably with a yogurt, cause I'm trying to work on protein intake. And then I'm gonna have to go out and shovel later, which is nice, obviously, cause we got a bunch of snow. So that'll be my workout for the day. Let's do this. We even have a fresh loaf. We typically make two loaves every weekend. And then we just like use one at the beginning of the week and then take one out of the freezer at the end of the week. I kind of undercooked this one, but that's okay. I'm sure it's still gonna be delicious. And then I do one side with butter, one side with peanut butter. Mm. 
plate. I'm gonna do, like I said, just like a little yogurt as well because I'm really trying to work on my protein intake. I struggle with this like first thing in the morning. I feel like that's the worst for me and having high protein really helps me a ton with my brain fog. So I love the little messages on the inside of the yogurt. I feel good today. Sometimes I like to do one peanut butter banana, one butter, but today I just really am feeling the bland life, you know? Cheers. Breakfast. Yummy, delicious. Guys, I came upstairs and saw this. Are you freaking kidding me? These two are literally best friends. Like, how cute is this? So, like, can we talk about the insane amount of stuffed animals on this bed right now? Because when I went downstairs earlier... Oh, you're so tired. There was only one stuffed animal on the bed, and now there's five. So... <laughs> Anyways, I usually make the bed when I come upstairs to get ready for the day or at least get dressed either before or after, but they look so cute and it's a snowy, snowy day outside. So I'm going to leave them be. They look so freaking cute. Welcome to the bathroom. Can we just take a second for how cute this looks? I'm really proud of myself for this. Okay. Uh, also, this is Ivan, my Ivy. I'll share my other plant names with you guys later, but I'm obviously in my plant era. I literally said I was never going to buy plants. I was like, I don't like plants. I don't do plants because I kill them all. But... I'm doing a great job. I have an app too. I can show you guys that. I think it's called Planta. It tells me when I'm supposed to water them. But anyways, uh, Mr. Ivan lives in our bathroom because he is great for high moisture environments. And since we live in a hundred year old house and we don't have any fans in our bathroom, he sucks up all the moisture um, when I take a shower, which is nice. So I think he likes it in here. But like I said, we're gonna do a little quick five minute get ready with me. And then I'm going to just blow out my hair super quick. I always just like moisturize first thing in the morning because then I take the dogs out and you know, my skin barrier, we're trying to, we're trying to keep her nice and uh, not destroy her because I have very, very angry hormonal cystic acne. And so we need to keep the skin plump and hydrated. Just hydrate. I don't know why I said plump. But anyways, uh, so this has been my like morning moisturizer duo. I love the Vanna Cream moisturizer, but it's just not thick enough for the winter. And so I switched over to this one, the Curel Moisture Facial Cream. It's Korean skincare. So good, you guys. I don't say that lightly because you guys know I don't like trying new products. It makes me really nervous. But this has been amazing. I would only use it in the winter because it's pretty thick. But this has been a game changer. And then I just mix in some of the, <laughs> the logo's gone, but these are the Indeed bronzing drops. And then if I'm just doing like a super quick makeup, I will just do my eyebrows, mascara, and like a little bit of blush and concealer. If I want something a little bit more, which it doesn't take me that much longer to do, I'll do a, a Cosmetics CC Cream. I have two different kinds. This is like the more full coverage kind. This is like the OG one. It's the CC Nude Glow, which is like a little bit more of like a skin tint. It doesn't have as much coverage. So I really like this one in the summer or like just day to day if I want like a little bit of coverage, but not much. So this is what it looks like. Um, but this is the only one I have in my winter shades. This is kind of what I've been using. I do want to do a little bit of filming this afternoon, some short form content. And like I said, I'm gonna start a new vlog. So I'm gonna do just like a little bit of CC cream. Um, like I said, I've already moisturized and it just gives me like a little bit of coverage kind of helps me it just gives like a little bit of coverage i don't know i like the glow that it gives honestly typically a drugstore makeup girly but there's a few products that i will buy higher end because my skin just tolerates them uh so one of them is the it cosmetic cc cream and then the nars creamy concealer this is the best stuff ever i'm just gonna do a little bit of blush i'm gonna do powder blush today i don't know why i'm like kind of not really into the green blush right now uh, this is the milani blossom time blush and i just do a little bit i have naturally really rosy cheeks so i don't really need a ton but i like to kind of bring it up here i don't know what this is called the apples what is this part of your cheek called i don't know but uh yeah and then i like to do a little bit on my nose and yeah that's 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 that and then i do a primer this is a Lancome one, but you can use anything. I really don't think high-end mascara is really worth it, but I got this in a PR package and I don't want to waste it, but my favorite mascara is $4 from the drugstore. Like, you do not need a high-end mascara. And then while that's doing its thing, like, I don't actually know how long you're supposed to wait before putting on mascara. I will just do my brows. I naturally have really sparse brows. I don't pluck them. This is just, like, the way they've been. I cannot get them to grow. So... I do have to like fill them in a decent amount and like truthfully I don't know what I'm doing. And then I take NYX brow glue. This is like the most intense brow glue I've ever used. It really keeps things in place which I need as someone who doesn't have a lot of eyebrows obviously. So 
There we go. And then this is my favorite mascara, the Essence Lash Princess. And I cannot do my mascara on camera, so BRB. Quick little five minute makeup for like just every day. I only usually have to do this once like in a shampoo cycle, shampoo hair washing cycle. Showered last night, I blow dried it last night, and then now I'm doing it this morning and it should last me like two to three days. I don't always do my hair, but um, if I do it like on the first day of like fresh hair, it should last me a few days. It will fall throughout the day since I don't put any product in it, but that's kind of that's kind of what it ends up looking like. I definitely did more of a curl than a blowout today, but that's. All right, what earrings do I want to wear today? Um, do I want to do these guys? These are like my go-to. I feel like I wear these the most. These little like gold huggy hoops. Let's be real, BFFR. I'm definitely just gonna do my everyday gold hoops. <laughs> First of all, I have crazy hot hair because I've been outside shoveling and I just took the dogs on a little walk. I made my second coffee and I'm gonna get back to work for a little bit um, and then I'll probably take my lunch break a little later on today since I just like ate, I'm feeling good, I'm feeling full, I'm gonna get back to work. I filmed all week and um, I just wanna remind you guys that social media, even for someone like really raw and honest like me, is still a highlight reel. Um, my family's just been, we've been going through it all week there's just been like thing after thing going on my mom just texted me that our dog is having a seizure and you know i could have just uploaded this video and you guys would have thought like wow she had just like such a perfect morning but honestly my brain is so mentally tired i can't even imagine what my parents are going through right now um I, I had said, I think in a vlog last week that my sister was in the hospital. She was in the hospital again this week and it's just been a lot for our family. Maybe that's my sign to stop vlogging because the snowblower is going next door. <laughs> I just feel very mentally tapped out for the week. Um, uh, transparently, I've tried to film this video for like three days, honestly, and I've just gotten bad news every day. Uh, we had plans for this weekend that fell through, which is not anyone's fault, but like it just feels like it's one of those weeks where <laughs> It's just like bad news after bad news after bad news and I just want to remind you guys that even for me I try and be as real and raw as possible but social media can still be a highlight reel and yeah it's been a week honestly I tried to film a whole video like just a day of my life on this and I just couldn't stop crying I just feel like there's been so much going on Matt and I also planned our like one year engagement anniversary trip which brings up a lot of feelings because um wow I can't believe like the fact that I say this I'm like I can't believe this is my life but I actually cut off my biological father when we got engaged like imagine that the happiest day of your life you also have to cut off a parent so that brought up a lot of feelings too and it's just been a week honestly and someone's just gonna watch this and be like oh it's just a morning routine but like my mornings for me like are the only time in my day that I don't think about anything else and I don't that's why I don't go on my phone first thing in the morning like I don't think about anything that's going on I don't have my watch on I don't like I just feel like it's the one time I get to like unplug 
especially just with everything that's been going on this week. I don't want this video to become like a sob story by any means. I just, I want to keep it real with you guys. I, there's so much going on behind the scenes. And yeah, this is like the third day I've tried to film this video and it finally worked today. Hopefully really struggled this week. And I always want to keep it real with you guys and having a morning routine like this, that's very simple. And I take what I need every day. It's just so good for my mental health. And yeah, I also changed out of my jean jacket because I love it. But like, you know, when you, anyone who lives somewhere cold will relate to this, but I need to be comfy when I shovel. And I just like, wasn't like, it wasn't super comfy. So I changed into comfy clothes, which is kind of ironic that it says winter tour. Cause obviously it's winter, but uh, yeah, that's kind of what's going on. Yeah. But I love you guys so much. I hope you guys enjoyed. I should probably go outside and snow blow considering uh, everyone else's and have a great, great, great rest of your day.